Hey, what's up guys, Ken from Eight Productions, and today I'm bringing you the third episode of the GTA 5 story mode, first person playthrough. So, first of all we're going to get into the first mission of the episode. Don't know what mission it is, but it's a Michael mission, because we've just unlocked Michael. And I just skipped that cutscene. Amazing. Father slash son. You're such a fucking dictator! Why the fuck not? He is not staying the night! Oh He's my a god! Bum. I, I don't, don't even know why you are Come by for that drink you all. That's all. I wasn't really serious about that. What? You're here, whatever. Sit. You're not gonna rob me again. Man, I never robbed you. That was just a repossession. Okay. You call it whatever you want to call it. I really don't care. What can I do for you? Shit, I just came by to see if there's something I can help you with. I see you doing well for yourself. I'm retired. Ain't you a bit young for the pipe, slippers, and staring at a fucking sunset? You know, I've been in this game for a lot of years, and I got out alive. That makes me the right age. <clears throat> you look like a good kid. But if you want my advice, you give the shit up. You work hard, screw over everybody that you love. Hurt, rob, kill indiscriminately, and maybe just maybe, if you're lucky, you become a three-bit gangster. It's bullshit. Go to college. Then you're gonna rip people off and get paid for it. It's called capitalism. Hmm. So what I saw the other day was like, when a corpse briefly reanimates itself and terrorizes everyone, right? What you saw the other day was a guy dealing with pests. I guess I never saw myself as just a fucking pest. Well... And today's lesson's all about humility. Tomorrow we'll try a training montage. A training what? No. I was just lost in an 80s movie fantasy. <laughs> yeah, I can see you spend a lot of time there. Yeah, as much as I can. So that's why you're here in Vinewood then, right? Maybe I'm here because I'm just an idiot. Who thinks that imported palm trees are a good substitute for not really knowing what the fuck you're doing on this earth. Jesus, man. You a good time, you know that. Tell you what, least I can do is buy you that beer. There's a little bar I like. It's not too far from here. Let's go. All right, man. I'm following you. Let's take Amanda's car. Hey, Jim. I'm going for a drink. Dad, man. shit. I mean, our boat going down the Western Highway. It's it's been stolen. What? The yacht's been stolen? I, I was trying to sell it. I know you didn't want it sold, but I need money, and they don't want to buy it. They just want to take it. I'm hiding in the head. You're insane. All right, I'm coming for my boat. All righty, then. Change of plans. My darling boy is in trouble. I'll do what I can to help with that, man. Lesson number one. Don't ever have kids. Hey, man, look. If I had kids, I don't think no parenting issues would arise over who had boat privileges and who don't. Shit, motherfuckers would be lucky to sit in a bathtub. Shit, things that desperate, huh? Oh, but, you know, shit, I was making a point. Pathologizing self-deprecation. I know it well. Yeah, man, but shit, where the boat at? Little shit's been hijacked. They're somewhere on the western coast. 
That's just what I'm gonna tap and Chop shop back there, dog. You drive us there, we can get the ride fit. My boat. It's just a thing. My boat. Please stop doing that. Listen, I fucked up, okay? I'm not going to lie. That was a really bad judgment call. But shit, Dad, I nearly died. And all you give a shit about is this fucking boat. No, it's not that. It's all we do is scream at each other. No wonder I can't get a job. It's all your fucking fault. Or, it's not, but it's partly your fault. I, I mean, I just want to impress you. By selling my boat to some gangbangers? I know it sounds dumb when you put it like that, but all you do is daydream or get angry. Look, I love you, Jimmy, but you're an asshole. And right now, with my boat disappearing over the horizon, that's all I can see. Franklin, do me a favor, call me a Well, I don't think that was going to work anytime soon, but worth a try. Hey, it's a chop shop back there, dog. You drive us there, we can get the ride fit. My boat. It's just a thing. My boat. Please stop doing that. Listen, I fucked up, okay? 
I'm not going to lie, that was a really bad judgment call. But shit, Dad, I nearly died, and all you give a shit about is this fucking boat! No, not that, it's... All we do is scream at each other. No wonder I can't get a job. It's all your fucking fault! Or, it's not, but it's partly your fault. I... I mean, I just want to impress you. By selling my boat to some gangbangers? I know it sounds dumb when you put it like that. Hey, you gotta look out, dog. But all you do is dance in or get angry. Look, I need a cab as soon as you can send one. Hey, this the place I do. I know this dude, man. Man, how? You gonna look out? All right, take this in my pocket. Couple thousand bucks. That's her, right? Hey, here you go. Here, I got this. Man, and drop the bank off at your house along with this dude. It's all good, though, man. You go and get your head right, all right? All right. Listen, thanks for today. Appreciate it. You stop back out to the house, we'll talk. Uh, you see? Show, sure, man. Hey, sorry we didn't get your boat, man. Oh, no, I just skipped the cinematic. Oh. The Uber Max, it's a new call. Whoa. Oh. Like All right, good as new. Mom was never that hot on the red on me. And here we go. This is the Swagmobile. job and I thought maybe he can help me find a new one. What are you doing? Dude, my dad is retired. Like, fully? Like, his only marketable skills are watching TV and daytime drinking? Man, look, I don't know, homie. It yeah. seems okay to me. Shit, he saved your ass. You saved my ass. Nah, nah, man. Well, well, maybe we good together, you know? Like, maybe we can get shit done we couldn't do separate. If it keeps him out of the house, that's cool by me. <sighs> yeah, well, we'll see. Look, I'm sorry my dad lost to your job. It's hard out there. Tough. I mean, I'm employmentally challenged at the moment. Oh, you got fired, dude. Damn, that's rough. <clears throat> Not fired as such. I, I didn't get a job. I've been there, homie. You've been putting them resumes out there, but no one's hiring, huh? No, I, uh, I didn't get a job. I've never had a job. It feels like hard work, right? The days just kind of disappear. Hey, you can not to slaughter? <coughs> Not since the first couple. Okay. Yo, so like, since we're both unemployed, like, we could run together, you know? Yeah, I think about it, homie. Or, or we could just like, shopping, you know? Play darts or get our drink on. Strip clubs. Come on, dude, I get real crazy. Yeah, I got your number, shit, I need it, man, but uh... Hey, hey, you know what? Man, go easy on your pops, dog. all right? All right, church. <laughs> exactly, man. My brother from another mother. I mean... I hope so, because my mom was kind of a skank back in the day. See ya. Yeah, whatever, homie. Peace. Right, so I'm going to have to end this episode here, guys, because um, that mission took a little longer than I expected. Um, so, remember to like or dislike and leave a comment down below how I can improve, subscribe, and share this with all your friends. See ya.